Hello, this is Dr. William Neal, dentist, periodontist in Wichita Falls, Texas. And you know with this corona pandemic going around, we're all likely to be quarantined at home with our family. And the danger is we pass our mouth germs and sneeze germs to our family members because we're living constantly in close proximity to our, to our family. So we certainly won't have any face masks. But there may be things laying around the house that would be better than nothing to contain our sneeze and our mouth droplets from other family members. So it's really not about us, it's about our family keeping them healthy from, protected from our, our germs. So you may have stuff laying around the house as a washcloth and maybe you would have a bag of rubber bands. Uh, something you may not have uh, been aware of that might come in handy is some um, uh, four inch zip ties that I got at uh, Lowe's. Also you would need uh, something sharp like a screwdriver, uh, ice pick, um, uh, let's see, or a um, pencil. And also you might find uh, coming in handy would be some Kleenex and uh, selected size paper towels. So, let me show you how this might work. And you know, a washcloth, well, if you fold it over, then it's going to be something like this across your face. So the idea is to create a pleat on either side of the washcloth. So I've taken a pencil and I've jammed a hole through the washcloth. And with that, I'm going to create a pleat by going back and forth. And you can see what I've done with this uh, ice pick to create that pleat. So once you get that hole going, then you could take a um, zip tie and pass it through that hole and then seal it over into a ring kind of like that. And here we have that at the other end there. You might want to snip off that sharp um, plastic spike right there. So you end up with a face mask that's held together on either end with uh, or maybe a two-link uh, rubber band chain. And so that would secure it around your face. I have it like this. And mold it around your nose and mouth. You can see how it fits around the ears like that. And you might have the argument that there's certainly not enough filtration to keep. And that's probably true. But to, it's better than nothing. And you would trap... Uh, at least some uh, vapor um, droplets. So you might uh, have that Kleenex, several layers of Kleenex, and wrap it maybe in a paper towel like this, and place it in the fold of the uh, washcloth, something like that, and then um, put it around your face like this, and adjust it to see how it fits like that and that. So you end up with something that is not perfect, but it certainly is a step in the right direction until we can get to the other side of this. Uh, so you have something that is maybe disposable and reusable and reversible. You know, you can wear this this way or that way. So hey, God bless you, stay safe, be good, and hope to see you soon.